Hi there, Blaze here. Welcome in another devlog of my Space Shooter mobile game project. In this video, you will take a look at the exciting journey of implementing some new systems into my game. So sit back and let's jump to Sunday. Sunday I had a little free time, so I spent it on creating background music controller. I created new prefab for a music player, added it on scene and created corresponding script. I designed this system to work with location controller script. This is because I also have script table objects corresponding to every location I have in game. So for now it's only for earth location. And in here I can specify which audio I want to play using script table object. This is then sent to my newly created background music player and is used on scene. Why I use script table objects for defining soundtrack clips instead instead of using just references to audio clip, because I want to add some events to these clips in the future, and script table object is a good place to do this. Okay, this was probably the longest paragraph I wrote in entire devlog series. Sorry for that, I just want to explain this system. Let's jump to Monday now. So today I implemented a small feature that recognizes the length of the clip I use on this location and calculates the length of location and number of rows which should be generated so there is no more need to type length manually. I decided to generate two times larger map than it should exactly be because I want to implement some parts of levels to be faster than the rest. That means that player will move even two times faster, so I'm prepared for this. I was surprised because generating time isn't much worse than for tested 100 rows, so it shouldn't have too much impact on performance, but time will show. I really love record b-rolls for you, but those are going to appear less frequently now, because I'm going to change the vlog styles for a little this year. We are in 20 months of this project now, so this is about half of the way to release. Because of this, some changes are coming to upcoming videos. Watch this video till the end if you want to know more, and for now we are jumping to the weekend. You may wonder why I missed entire week and jumped to weekend. This is because I had few days off of my project, but spent entire weekend developing changes. Meet my schedule from it. Saturday, half past nine, I planned the whole weekend, created new milestones, moved some tasks between lists, made a coffee and started to work at 10 a.m., where I finished my system for audio markers. I implemented zoom out for camera and double speed for player. I will probably add more in the future, but for now it's enough to test the operation of the system. About 1 p.m. after a short break, I made an optimizations for some scripts in my project and fixed the system for calculating length of the level because I don't like the algorithm to guess the length and create background with a lot of spare which won't be used. Instead of this, I checked every marker created on soundtrack, calculate the length of every, multiply them by speed of the player and add some tiles to the end because I want to implement zoom out on the finish of the level, so I need to fill larger terrain with background tiles. This is real optimization for both CPU and memory because generation time will be lower and there will be less active game objects on scene during gameplay. I also implemented a script called DevTools, which will be used to make testing easier. For now I have only one bull here, and this is for playing shorter soundtracks in editor and development build. I will use this to finish levels faster and test some soundtrack related actions. At the end I started to create behavior on level end. There are still some things to do, but as you can see when player reach the end of soundtrack, enemies will start to assault on him. They wait for the moment and speed up from top to bottom. Then they disappear. I will finish this system in upcoming days. Today's session concludes here, but if you want to know what will change in upcoming videos, stay for a while. To complete my game within the next few months, I will be posting devlogs less often on a monthly basis. These updates will showcase my progress, highlight key takeaways and offer tips on how you can improve your own game systems. They will also have less private stuff. My focus will now be mainly on the development of the game, so be sure to follow me on Twitter for the latest updates and insights. Get ready for a series of insightful and productive posts in the coming days. If you have any questions or ideas, let me know in the comments section. For now it's all, remember to subscribe to not miss the next video. See you soon in next month, bye!